Welcome to Ann Ceramics and uh, we're in my workshop today and today we're going to dry brush and we're going to come up from black to white. When you come up to any color you want three different layers of color so we're going to start with a light gray and I'm just going to dab my brush I've got a stiff base coat brush here into the color and then I'm going to come over to a piece of paper and I'm just going to work that into the bristles of the brush. Uh, it kind of looks like, feels like, you're getting it off, working it off the brush, but you're actually working it into it so that you have just a little light color when you stroke it. Then you're going to come over to your piece and you're actually going to just stroke, lay that brush down and stroke across. And see it just gently lays that color on there. You can go both directions. You've got color all around on that brush, so you're just going to Lay it down and come across there and create the area that you want this to be white or light gray. If you wanted a light gray, you could stop here. You could come in with a charcoal gray and then with this. I'm going to put a little bit more on my brush. Work that into there. And come across and give it a second coat. You can see how the color is kind of developing and taking hold. If you want some there on the tip of this tail, on that quarter there, you want it around the nose, wherever you want, wanted this different color, and you're going to do it to different degrees. Now the thing about dry brushing is that your brush is dry. So like when I come to this, now I'm going to go to a different color. I'm not going to try to wash this brush and reuse it. I'm going to actually just lay it down and pick up another brush, a new one. I'm going to dab it in my white and then I'm going to come over and work that white into that brush. You see I'm kind of going back and forth in circular motions. Don't raise the brush up off the paper. When you're working that into it, it's important that you keep contact with the paper you don't do it like this you want to keep it in contact then I'm going to come over to my piece and again working I kind of lay the brush down like that and just stroke it on there so that your white has a chance to develop And you do this until you get the degree of the white or the color change that you want. You can see how that's developing. And this works well for Santa's beard, fur, um, anything that you want to come back to white on. If you're coming up from black to red, you're going to go with a barn red, which is a red with a touch of brown in it. Then come to your scarlet or your crimson red. Uh, if you're coming up and you're doing like baby chicks and they're yellow, you're going to take it all the way to white and then uh, to the yellow because yellow and black will make green. So, so you kind of put that on the tail and on this quarter there. I'm going to come around to the nose. Put some on his nose right there. And you can see I just kind of dab, stroke it on. You actually get more color when you stroke it on. I get a little carried away sometimes and don't go to dabbing and stuff instead of stroking. But you actually get better, better coverage when you stroke it on. And that's how you come up from black to white or to any color. And that's a good um, demonstration of dry brushing. Thank you. We'll look forward to seeing you again at our next workshop.